By default, Camellio uses the user portion of the SIP address for authentication purposes or to locate the contact header. This default configuration restricts its functionality to a single domain. For example, here in our example, Alice at companya.omit.blog can register and call to Bob at companya.omit.blog. However, Camellio architecture is especially designed to handle thousands of calls per second. Let's say I want to implement a multi-tenant environment such as hosted prefix or call center system and I want to service multiple customers with different domains. In the context of our example, I am looking to provide services to both company A and company B that some employees may have the same names as both companies. For instance, Alice and Bob are present in both organizations here. However, it's important to clarify that even though they share the name, they are distinct individuals with unique SIP username and passwords. Multi-tenant functionality in Camellio can be configured in uh, two different ways, statically in the config file by using the aliases or more dynamic way by using the domain module that can read the domains from a database such as MySQL or PostgreSQL. Before we go deep into the configuration steps, I want to show you what we will achieve with Camellio multi-domain configuration. In order to demonstrate the multi-domain or multi-tenant support in the uh, Camellio, I have uh, installed my Camellio with database backend support. I'm using MySQL here and I have already configured the uh, multi-domain on my Camellio. So, uh, I have two domains, company a.omit.blog and also company b.omit.blog that both of them are uh, pointing to the same Camellio server with this IP address. As you can see, both uh, users with company A and company B are registered here in my uh, Camellio. If I want to verify that, I can use, I can use the uh, campcmdul.dump and uh, as you can see here we have, uh, of course I have registered Bob as well as well on, on the other computer. So I have both Alice at company a.omit.blog and also Alice at company b.omit.blog. And both of them of course have different uh, username and password and both of them are registered in the same Camellio server. Uh, let me just use the grep dash I A O R so that you can see in a uh, better view. I have registered four users, uh, Alice and Bob from company A and also Alice and Bob from company B. And let's make a call. Before I make a call, I want to run a SNG rep and uh, using my company, A, I want to call Bob. And as I'm calling Bob, Let's check the invite. The invite here is from uh, Alice at company A. Let me answer the call to Bob at company A. And if I choose my second account and I call Bob, Let me answer and hang up and see the invite. Now it uses the alias at company B and it calls to Bob at company B. So uh, I have one Camellio server with two domains. There is no restriction on the number of domains here, as I know, maybe there is one. <laughs> I need to check again. And also we can use uh, cam CTL domain show to see what are the domains that we have uh, we have active in our Camellio server. For example, I have com company A, company B, and also K1 and K2. Uh, I have registered four domains in this uh, Camellio server. Okay, great. Now we know how the Camellio multi-domain or multi-tenant configuration works. 
let's go to the configuration steps. I have documented all the steps in my uh, GitHub account. You can go to my GitHub address, github slash omid mohajarani I will put the link in the description of the video. And then you need to select the Learn Camellio repo. And the article name is Camellio Multi-Domain Configuration. And here you can go to the Camellio Multi-Domain Configuration. We have two methods to uh, configure multi-domain. The first method is uh, using the alias in the Camellio.cfg file. So you just need to open your Camellio.cfg configuration file and add your domain uh, in front of the uh, keyword alias. So I have two domains here, company A and company B. And then you can just add it. And finally, you need to restart your Camellio. This is a very easy configuration, but it has two downsides. First of all, uh, you need to restart your Camellio every time you want to add or edit a, a domain. That's not ideal, especially if you have a, a 24 hours call center. So you cannot easily restart your Camellio service. And also for big implementations, uh, it's not really very convenient to uh, actually every time go and edit the configuration file and restart. Usually and the organizations, they may have a panel or a web service to add or uh, edit or remove the domain. So for that one, it's better to use uh, the domain module. That's our second method. In the second method, we need to uh, connect our Camellio to a database. If you don't know how to, I have explained in this article, when we have installed the Camellio, we have already connected our Camellio to the uh, MySQL database and we have created the required tables, including the domain table. Uh, the domain table, uh, this is the query if you want to create it and if you have not uh, used the script or uh, my article to install your Camellio system. Uh, it's very easy, actual table, as you can see, you can add the domain and to enable the uh, multi-domain configuration using uh, the second method, you just need to uh, add this line to your configuration file defined with multi-domain. Uh, I assume that you are using the default configuration of the Camellio, by the way. So if you define this with Camellio, uh, it will automatically, uh, because we have conditions here, if the with multi-domain is uh, added to the configuration file, it will set the multi-domain value to one also, it will load the domain.so module and it will set the dburl with the multi-domain. If you have not configured the dburl, just search the dburl in your uh, configuration file. It's very easy. You just need to add username and password and uh, uh, the database name. There's a template and a guide there that you can use it. It's just one line. Uh, so that's it. You just need to add this defined with multi-domain and that's it. Wow, it's already configured in the default configuration. You, you don't need to do anything else. In order to uh, add a new domain, of course, you can go to the table and use the insert command and add your domain. You don't need to restart or anything. Uh, restart of Camellio, I mean. You need to do a command here. Or you can use the CamCTL script with CamCTL domain, add your domain name. You can add the domain. After the domain, you need to do reload. And if you want to uh, view a list of the active domains, you can use the CamCTL domain show. So here, as you can see, I have uh, CamCTL domain at company c.omid.blog. I have reloaded. And also, I uh, run the CamCTL domain show to see a list of the domains that I have. I, I already have company A and company B. Now I have company C as well. And this is very important. You need to... Uh, remember this because previously when you wanted to add a user you didn't need to uh, specify the domain now it's necessary or it will use the default configuration uh, default domain that you have in your configuration file so if you want to add a for example user let's name it my user at company C you have to uh, specify the domain in your camp CTL at uh, command so here for example I added a user with the name of uh, with the username of my user in the domain of company c.omid blog and uh, with the password of my pass uh, yeah that's it that's how we are configuring multi-domain or multi-tenant in the configuration file 
thank you for watching if you have any question you can put in the uh, comment below of this video thank you